Item number, SCP-803, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All instances of SCP-803 are to be contained in separate biohazard containment cells. At site, the specimens are to be fitted with radio transmitters, set to secure channels. One D-Class subject is to be provided for experimentation in the event of extreme hostility from SCP-803 instances. Description SCP-803-1 is a currently undetermined number of autonomous machines, resembling small umbrellas, averaging 170 centimeters in width and 150 centimeters in height. An average specimen is almost indistinguishable from a normal umbrella. There are no identifying marks or labels on instances of SCP-803-1. When unfolded, a large amount of medical equipment is visible on the underside of SCP-803-1's canopy. These include vials of varying liquids and gases, plastic tubing, syringes, scalpels, various motors and joints, data expunged. All specimens possess the ability to retract disguise, or otherwise hide this equipment, making identification of SCP-803-1 in the field difficult. All attempts to disassemble or deactivate instances of SCP-803 are forbidden by order of Dr. SCP-803-2 resemble SCP-803-1 in almost all respects, except for a greatly increased wingspan of 5 meters and a central power system apparently fueled by SCP-803-2 service carriers for swarms of SCP-803-1 on rows of metal hooks that replace the medical equipment found in instances of SCP-803-1. The primary function of SCP-803 instances appears to be the capture, experimentation, and occasionally dissection, vivisection, of medium to large mammals using the aforesaid apparatus. Specimens of SCP-803-2 hunt by either waiting in a large open area, or by tumbling through the air using natural updrafts, and bursts of compressed air emitted from the tips of their canopy. Upon encountering a viable target, the instance will release its flock of SCP-803-1 who will proceed to inject a muscle relaxant into the subject, and then experiment upon it. Percent of subjects survive these procedures, which may involve removal and or transplantation of organs, blood, urine, and cerebrospinal fluid sampling, monitoring of data expunged, and may last up to minutes. Surviving subjects report being fully conscious during the experiments, as well as intense pain and feelings of panic. Flocks of SCP-803 comprise an average of individuals and have been sighted in the following locations. Brazil, Japan, Australia, data expunged. Addendum 803-1 on 2000. Several D-class subjects were ordered by research assistant to dismantle an instance of SCP-803-1 using hammers, saws, and wrenches. When the first D-Class attempted to remove the handle, the specimen violently ruptured. Two of the three D-Class were injured by large, sharp pieces of metal from the instance, inflicting wounds comparable to those caused by crossbow bolts fired at close range. One D-Class died instantly, due to a metal rod entering his skull. The second D-Class initially survived, but later died of viral infections carried on the needles of the specimen. The third D-Class quickly due to unidentified chemicals within SCP-803-1, with only 1.2 kilos of biological material being recovered. Research assistant was severely reprimanded. Addendum 803-2 On 2000 Autopsy of a D-Class subject, captured by SCP-803-1 instances during the containment breach, discovered a small metallic dodecahedron at the top of the spinal column. The purpose of this object 
is currently unknown. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-802, Musical Tank, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>